The fundamental role of any university is to promote freedom of inquiry and the search for knowledge and truth. WITS has built a reputation for itself in this role, establishing itself at the industrial and the commercial heart of South Africa as a center for education and research of the highest quality. The university wants to profile itself as a leading research university in the country and internationally. And, and so it, its focus is on becoming research active. More publications combined with the teaching and that there's a, a, a critical link between the two. In a research intensive university, you operate at the level which, which is at the forefront of your discipline, rather than doing the kind of maintenance work on the discipline. To grow with the ever-changing landscape of our university, our country and the world, WITS University established the Transformation and Employment Equity Department. Transformation is a national imperative. Its achievement is essential if WITS is to achieve our vision. Transformation is multidimensional and founded on the principle of redress. WITS has a moral as well as an ethical obligation to proactively and systematically address the legacy of apartheid wherever this is reflected within the university. Two key transformation goals within the Transformation and Equity Department is to support the university in its efforts to train and retain the next generation of academics and work to transform the higher education system to serve a new social order in South Africa. In efforts to assist us in achieving our agenda, the Carnegie Foundation has generously funded WITS Carnegie Research and Institutional Culture Projects grant. And this allows us to, to deepen the impact of the funding uh, by reaching out to a broader number of people to truly diversify uh, higher education. And in particular, researchers, uh, black researchers and female researchers that have not traditionally been uh, the primary source of knowledge production. Uh, the aim here was to provide a, a boost for that generation of, of people and who truly are the next generation of researchers. And I'm absolutely thrilled that over the subsequent years, something like 62 of our academics have received these large research grants. The Carnegie Research Grants have been awarded to black and women academics. The aim of the grants is to ensure that adequate support is provided for the growth and development of black South Africans and women researchers. sharing point of view. Special bursaries to undergraduates, scholarships to undergraduates, special classes um, to assist in the transformation of the student cohort. Research has just come back from a year abroad. The Carnegie Grant also provides support and development to make sure that there's, there's a point of call between the research office and the transformation office. We there to support, to be, support the Carnegie Grant user.
subsequent years, something like 62 of our academics have received these large research grants. 29 have received the time off grant. 10 Sandwich Fellowships, 11 Equity Scholars have come, and six social justice grants have been given, totaling 14 million rand. Um, has been spent on, on these grants over the past few years and more to come. We are ready to go, we have a strategy in, in, in line um, and we, we hope that a lot of them will apply and that we get the best uh, researchers from the group and also in terms of institutional culture uh, that our projects can be lengthened in time. We have creative people, we have artists, we have musicians, we have playwrights. Again extraordinary and unique that, uh, that uh, attract world attention. With the experience that has been gained over the past few years around institutional culture projects, um, we have a cleared way forward. We've consulted broadly and we've embedded the programs within the university structures more forcefully. The strategic thrust is to develop an institutional culture that supports the demands of a vibrant, non-racial and non-sexist democracy. These projects were informed by the results of institutional cultural surveys. Here, we supported projects that focus on student leadership development. All projects were monitored by an institutional culture committee. The research culture at WITS has undergone a huge boom in the last five years or so. Um, where all around what we're seeing is research activity, um, not just of people sitting writing their articles and going overseas, but people talking about their research, holding conferences on their research, inviting amazing special speakers. <laughs> the art are a true reflection of who we are. Resident Equity Scholars recognizes that the university is not the sole site at which new knowledge regarding transformation is created. The aim is to seed dialogue and engagement on controversial issues. Selected scholars are drawn from academia, government, the private sector, the NGOs, entertainment and the arts. Student Photographic Projects seeks to provide a mirror for the WITS community on how students conceptualize transformation at the institution at a particular point in time. The aim is also to encourage discussion on perspectives of transformation. This is a WITS archive project that will enable the photographs to serve as a historical record. This project was conceived out of recognition of the reality that transformation, race, gender, class, sexuality, etc., is difficult to talk about. Photographs are exhibited on campus and residences. Student Equity Drama Projects. This project utilizes drama to engage difficult yet relevant issues. For example, racialized campus spaces, gender differences. Caricature and humor are important tools to hook student audiences into the play's messages. Audiences are asked to complete evaluation forms. One of the plays went to the National Arts Festival and received critical acclaim and full audiences. The success of these projects over the past five years has left no doubt that we need to ensure that they should continue. The strategy of dedicating funding towards a particular cohort of researchers has positioned the university as a caring employer to the formerly excluded. The Carnegie Research Grant has instantly and very clearly changed my career trajectory within the university. This is in a year. Six publications out of that, nine conference papers, one, in, one paper in press, seven submitted, five positions. The past few years have demonstrated that changes in demographics do not necessarily lead to changes in institutional culture. Check whether you truthfully, truthfully, if you were left on your own, whether you think the question you are actually asking contains the gravity sufficient hmm, to really make a difference. This calls for targeted, 
and funded interventions. WITS will seek to use all its assets, both human and physical, to serve the intellectual, professional and educational needs of South African society.